the level of stupidity of the conversation around Jokic's uh, latest MVP bid and, and how J.J. Redick exposed that, hey, this conversation around Jokic is stupid. And, and ESPN, the alleged worldwide leader in sports, and, and I would throw Fox Sports in there. The conversations are so stupid, so devoid of reality, so, so devoid of substance. They're just feeding people slop. It's, it's, these shows are all should just be called Twitter on TV. It, 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 it's just that level of stupid. And J.J. Reddick's not playing along with the narrative and just blew up Kendrick Perkins on first take and literally, which I, I thought was the most dangerous, is he blew up first take very politely. Mm-hmm. But he called out first, first take. Let's Ooh. play the clip, but I, I can't wait to hear your reaction. I, say, I want to just say it's something. Back, give, Stephen give A, I, I, mean, uh, Stephen A I, mean, I mean no offense to you, mm. and I ne- mean no offense to First Take, because I think this show is extremely valuable. It is an honor to be on this desk every day. It really is. But what we've just witnessed is the problem with this show, where we create narratives that do not exist in reality. The implication, what you are implying, that the white voters that vote on NBA are racist, that are, they, they favor white people. You I just not, said that. I you ju- not, yes, you did. I yes, did you did. Not, I did. Yes, you did. That is exactly what you implied, Kendrick Perkins. That is exactly what you implied. Secondly, not, hold on. Did, hold on. I did not call. I stated the facts. I stated the facts. And you're not about to sit up. We all know what you implied the other day. We all know what you implied just now. Hold on. I stated the time. It's the fact. It's the fact. I love his point. We create a narrative that has nothing to do with reality. That's what's going on with Lamar Jackson. That's what's going on with Nikola Jokic in his MVP bid. They're messing with the wrong one. They're going to F around and find out that J.J. Redick made $100 million in the NBA and he's not going to play their false narrative game. It'll be interesting if they can get him in line. Well, look, Kendrick, you threw out the chum. You didn't think the Sharks would come. I'm just going to say this to old JJ. JJ, you were very disrespectful of the pioneers of the NBA because I thought you were trying to curry favor with a certain generation of fan. But after yesterday, oh, that is a permanent revocation of your invitation to the cookout and barbecue. I, I actually think Tommy Sotomayor might right now might be more welcome to the barbecue than old J.J. Reddick. I, I actually think Pete Rose might get into the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown before old J.J. gets back to the cookout. But it had to be said. It had to be said. And you know what? Looking at Stephen A.'s reaction – I don't think he completely disagreed with J.J.'s statement. He may have not liked it. He may have disagreed with it being aired out publicly. But I didn't see him raising his hand saying, no, 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 no. I didn't see him defending his show. I think he realized, like, you know what? You have a point. You have a point. And J.J. Reddick, wow. Wow, welcome back. Welcome back, J.J. Welcome back. I, I think... I think in real time, J.J. put Stephen A. in check because he did it, unpacked it so politely and professionally and gave first take its flowers while saying, hey, look, this show, and he's really talking about all these shows, are talking about things completely devoid from reality. Kendrick Perkins is, I stated facts. I stated facts. Uh-huh. And, and, and what Kendrick can't comprehend in real time is that you can state facts that don't prove your assertion. And so, so Kendrick Perkins said 80% of the voters are white. That is a fact. It doesn't prove your assertion, though, that those 80% white voters favor Nikola Jokic or Dirk Nowitzki or Steve Nash. It, it's, it is a fact, but it doesn't prove your assertion. And Kendrick and anybody else that's watching or may see this clip and let's cut it out and, and put it out there over social media so that they will see it. Someone could state a fact 
and say, uh, someone could go on TV today and talk about Joe Mixon. And could you know what? Uh, black men are uh, six, seven percent of the American population, and they do 53, 54 percent of the violent crimes in America. Therefore, Joe Mixon's guilty. And, and someone, I just stated the facts. I just stated the facts. If you state those facts, people will call you racist if you were white and said those things. If you want to just roll out some facts and act like, well, that uh, immunizes me from ever being accused of racism or doing anything false. You can state facts that don't prove your assertion. You can misuse facts to create false narratives. It can all be done, and that's what J.J. Reddick is accusing you of appropriately. These guys don't like where the NBA is headed. Jokic's style of play works real well in the regular season. It puts you in position to win MVPs. It, it, it's yet to be proven that it works at the highest level in the postseason, but we'll see. Uh, it, 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 it's It's... Kendrick Perkins and a lot of these guys, Ryan Clark, they're just way out over their skis, man. And ESPN allowing them to dumb down every conversation is, is annoying and it's frustrating. And it's, it's what we're seeing is like there are smart athletes that are like, man, this is beneath us, the game, me participating in these dumbed down conversations. Hats off to J.J. Reddick for calling it out. Yeah, and, and you know, I, I know one thing. In high school, Kendrick Perkins was certainly on the basketball team. There's no way he could have been on the debate club. I mean, juice. But, you know, I didn't realize this. I'm, I'm, I'm going through Twitter. I don't follow the NBA as much as I used to. I didn't realize out of the last 25, 30 years, there's only been three white or European MVPs. So it's not like there's the great white hope here. You know, we're not looking for the next Jess Willard. Let's be honest. And, and I really believe just like if you look at the last three, four years during this Jokic run where he might do the hat trick of the MVP, I, I believe that if I'm a voter, if you do not play in at least 90 percent of your games, I'm not voting for you. I don't care if it's an injury or load management or both. Because, Like you just said a couple minutes ago, availability is the greatest ability.